So today we're going to be talking about how to keep your hamster warm during the colder seasons. Now there are many different things you can do to keep your hamster warm when it gets cold, but before we go into those, let's just talk about why it's so important. Hamsters originate from areas of the world where it can get very, very hot in the daytime and very, very cold at night. So they're quite good at dealing with temperature changes. However, if it gets too cold, a hamster can go into a state very similar to hibernation. Now this state is known as torpor. Torpor is a state of temporary hibernation where the hamster goes into a deep sleep and is able to regulate its body temperature much easier. In this state, they are even able to raise their body temperature above the temperature of the environment around them. Domestic hamsters still have this ability and they become at risk of entering a state of torpor if the temperature in their cage drops below 15 degrees Celsius. The lower the temperature drops, the higher the risk of the hamster entering this state. And if the temperature doesn't rise again soon after, there is a chance that the hamster may never wake up. And this is why it's so important to keep your hamster warm in the cold seasons. There are many different things you can do to keep your hamster warm. I'm just going to talk about a few of the ways, but I do encourage you to look into other hamster owners' advice and opinions on this topic. The first thing you can do is to try and keep the environment itself warm, and that means the room that your hamster's cage is in. If the room has a heater in it, then turn the heat up a little bit. You can also close the doors and windows to prevent drafts and keep the room regulated. If, like us, you live in a country where the winters are still sunny, then during the daytime, open up the blinds and the curtains to let the sun into the room. This will heat the room up naturally, and when the sun has gone, just close the curtains again to help keep the heat inside the room. The second thing you can do is to make the cage itself warmer. And you can do this by adding several inches of substrate to the base of the cage, if you don't do it already, and you can also add in lots more extra nesting material. Remember to avoid any kind of nesting that's made from a cotton-like material as this is very dangerous for hamsters. What I advise using is just regular household tissue. Putting in whole pieces of tissue is also a great game for your hamster as they love to tear and shred tissue as they make it into their nest. The third thing you can do is to make sure your hamster has a choice of enclosed hideaways. Now some people prefer to give their hamsters open nests, however in the cold seasons I do recommend that you give your hamster a house just so it has the option of it. If your hamster isn't a chewer of fabrics, you can consider giving them snuggle pouches and hammocks to help keep them warmer. You can purchase these items in pet shops and online and they come in a variety of designs and patterns. Again, if your hamster isn't much of a chewer, you can consider giving them a hot water bottle. This is just a regular plastic water bottle that you fill with hot, but not boiling water, and place underneath the substrate. I would recommend that you put the bottle underneath the house or the nest in order to provide the most benefit. Switching out your hamster's normal treats for treats that are a little warmer in temperature can help to warm your hamster up from the inside out. Porridge oats and baby food can be mixed with warm water, and you can also feed warm scrambled egg. The best thing about all of these treats is not only will they warm your hamster up, but they're really healthy for them. Do keep in mind when picking out baby food that any brand is okay to use as long as the ingredients don't contain onion, garlic, leek, any kind of spices, or pork. So there we go, those are just a few ways in which you can keep your hamster warm during the colder seasons. I do recommend having a thermometer in the room where your hamsters live, just so you can monitor the temperature around them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you click in the description box below, you'll find lots of links to our social networks where you can come and join us on Twitter and Instagram and find out lots of extra information that you don't get to find out here on YouTube. So thank you so very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.